Hello and welcome to the channel. My name's Todd and earlier this morning I decided to take a little shopping trip. I was on a mission. I needed to find a lampshade for this old floor lamp. The other day my neighbor gave it to me. She didn't want it anymore. It had a, a broken base that I was able to semi-fix so it still works for my purposes. I thought it'd be a nice addition for the Haunted Mansion for the Halloween party that's uh, coming up here in about a week and a half. So I decided to go down to uh, the Goodwill store, the Habitat for Humanity store, and then the Dollar Tree. I figured between the three of them, I'd find what I was looking for. And they're all right beside each other, so it was fairly easy and a quick trip. So the first stop was Dollar Tree, because it was the only store open when I got there. And I found a couple cool things. They still had a lot of their Halloween stuff out. So, of course, I went ahead and picked up a few things. Picked up some of these black rats. Four of them. Now, I already have a bunch of these, but, again, you can never have enough of stuff like this. You can just put them everywhere in the house or outside for your Halloween party. Great addition. Picked up this nice little wooden snake. Thought it was pretty cool. I would have bought more of these, but they only had one left. Thought maybe I could paint it black, brown, green. Just a nice little piece that I could maybe set on a table somewhere. And then I also picked up this glue gun for a dollar, which I thought was a great deal. A couple years ago, I bought one of these at a craft store and paid $4.99. So I saw this one. Same model. I think it's same brand for a dollar so I couldn't pass it up so after the Dollar Tree I went down to the Goodwill store it was open by the time I got done and I found uh, some cool things I found not only did I find the lampshade I was looking for I also found some other neat things that I thought would be good for the Haunted Mansion picked up these wall pieces that I thought would be pretty cool. The set was $3.99, so I thought that was a good deal. Not sure what I want to do with them yet, as far as how I want to decorate them, but I'll probably at least put a LED candle on each of them and maybe paint them, throw on some creepy cloth. Not sure, but they'll look pretty good when I get done. The other thing I found, which was pretty cool, and I haven't seen any of these this year at any of the Halloween stores. It's one of those old pictures that has like a regular portrait of a person, but if you turn it, it shows their skeleton portrait. I just thought it was cool, and it was a dollar, so I thought, man, that'll look pretty nice in the Haunted Mansion also. But I wanted to kind of dress it up a little bit, so I thought maybe while I'm there, I'll look for a wooden frame. which I did find. Of course, they have, you know, lots of these things at the, the Goodwill store. And I only paid $1.99 for this one. But what I thought I'd do was put this picture inside the frame. I may have to cut it a little bit or glue it on there. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do it yet, but I plan on doing something like this. And I'll probably end up setting this on the mantle of the fireplace look pretty cool and then of course I got the lampshade there which this was exactly what I was looking for I mean this is a perfect fit and it has that kind of Victorian look to it and I only paid a buck 99 for it so I thought this was an excellent grab today So let me show you how this fits on. Good fit. So after I got the lampshade and I got this other cool stuff, I walked over to uh, the Habitat for Humanity retail store. And that's kind of like a Goodwill store. They just sell larger items like uh, furniture, appliances, old construction materials, um, 
what people do is when they're remodeling their house, a lot of times if uh, they have leftover materials or if they have cabinets that they take out of the walls or bathtubs or sinks, old lighting, uh, they'll donate it to uh, the Habitat store to, uh, so they can resell it to uh, other people. So anyways, while there I found this cool vintage light bulb, one of like an Edison light bulb, 40 watt. I only paid three dollars for it, so I thought that was pretty cool. Let me show you what this looks like in the lamp. So what do you think? I like it. It has a nice glow. I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet. Um, but I'm sure I'll figure something out. It probably could use some, like some lace on it. Uh, not sure if I'll have time to do that. I might just end up throwing some creepy cloth on it and kind of dull the light a little bit and maybe throw some cobwebs on it, kind of creepify a little bit. But I think it'll work pretty good for the Haunted Mansion. Give a nice little uh, ambient lighting there in one of the corners. So I'm pretty happy with that piece. Well, that's it. If you like this video and like to see more type of these videos, please subscribe. I'll talk to you again.